This is Video Ant, which is a free and browser-based video annotation service that was developed and is maintained uh, at the University of, uh, of Minnesota. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of uh, do two short videos based on this service. The first just to show kind of the basics of layering annotations on top of video. And then in the second, I'm going to demonstrate how you um, share video with specific permissions to, uh, to designated students. So uh, to get started, uh, um, so we're working within a browser here. There are no extensions or anything. Everything just kind of runs um, from the browser without any additions. And I'm going to have to select one of these options to connect. Um, Google Plus is probably the easiest for me. And so this is basically a, a, a making sure um, the service can authenticate me. And what I'm going to do is to uh, annotate, annotate a new video. This is uh, the, 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 the process of, um, of adding annotations to a, a video is referred to as an ant. And um, I could either search for a video, but I want to add one here from my personal uh, YouTube uh, collection ones that I've created. So if I wanted to uh, use someone else's video from YouTube, I would uh, put in the address up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add one of my own. Uh, it's going to search my collection now. Um, this may take a little while. So uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, OK, so let's see. I have one in mind here. It is um, let's see. It's uh, I didn't know I'd done this many. There, this is the one I want. So it's going to contact uh, the source, YouTube, and. Uh, bring up the start of, uh, of my video. The process uh, is, is actually very simple. Uh, I can play the video and when I find a spot at which I want to add an annotation, I click this uh, icon down here. It will stop the video, bring up a text box that uh, that allows me to, uh, to to annotate. Now, normally, I suppose I would uh, just start playing the video. I don't really want to do that in this case because uh, it's it's lengthy. What I can uh, I can also do is uh, if I kind of plan out what I want to do ahead of time, I can jump ahead. until I get to a location that I know um, contains some, some information I want to uh, comment on, which is about now, I guess. And you see when I click this icon, it pauses the video. Now I have plenty of time to, uh, to enter. My uh, my annotation, my you know, and the annotation could be many different things: a question, a comment, a suggestion, um, all, all kinds of possibilities. What what I want to do here is just just kind of give some direction to those uh, students of mine who would view this video, something for them to think about at this location. So I don't know. I'm just going to call this Y, and I now enter. Um, whatever comment or question I want. Let's 
see I have a spell checker set which is handy for my typing skills Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with Kuhn's model, but basically it's a problem-based learning model um, that follows a particular format. And uh, in the video, it's presenting this format. Uh, and what I'm asking the, 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 the student to consider is, well, why would you have, um, why would you have learners struggle with a problem before they really know enough to solve it? And um, I think there's a good reason to do this, um, but I want the, the learners to think about this based on what they might already know. So basically, I'm just then saving the question. As you can hear, the, the, uh, the video now starts again, waiting for me to stop it again and, and, and offer another annotation. So let me just turn this off. Um, so this is what you do. You work your way through the video finding locations that uh, warrant comment and stop the video and uh, add comment. Eventually, the, uh, the learners um, would have access to this and would see the questions that are time stamped relevant to specific places. You can see that there is a mark here that indicates that a comment has been inserted. And so this is the timeline for the entire video. And you'll also see up here that when the learner looks at um, the comments I have made, they have the opportunity to respond. Um, so that's you know a very simple process, very powerful. However, offering the uh, the teacher designer the opportunity to direct the learner's attention to specific things through questions or comments added to an existing video. So. That's the simple process that's uh, used in Video Ant to add uh, annotations, to layer annotations on existing video.